Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. We are going to do an unboxing and a review of these Nanami XP7 waterproof X1 wireless headphones. Uh, I got a link in the description section if you guys are interested in purchasing this. Um, this, uh, I believe, is going for around, I think there was a discount I got with this for like 30 bucks on Amazon. And from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it should cost about 30 bucks considering if, if you guys have seen the prices of like a gazillion different kind of earbuds and earphones and all that stuff out there, they, they're around like the $10, $15 price mark at, uh, you can get decent ones. Um, you know what? Yeah. So let me tell you guys why I actually wanted to get this because it hangs on the neck. I have like a ton of different uh, earbuds, earphones that I've done reviews on. If you guys have this, like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether this is, this is these are decent or not for the price. Um, we're going to see if this is an okay purchase or not. Neckband style, long battery life, waterproof, and it's magnetic. But um, two hours charging time, standby time is 300 hours. Music time is 16 to 18 hours. And I'll tell you guys what. Um, earbuds are great. They're small. They fit in your pocket. But they're, they're easily lost is what I'm saying. They're easily lost. I don't like putting stuff in my pockets. I got like so many things in my pockets that putting earbuds in my pocket is not a thing. And I'd rather have, I was like going, going exercising. I'd rather have something hanging on my neck. And it'll always be there. But let's just unbox this and see um, what this is about. All right, guys. So straight out of the packaging, this is what it comes with. I got to tell you, they always come with this. Does anybody ever use these? Like, I had a ton of earphones with this. Does anybody ever use these? Uh, good to know that it has the newest USB um, cables. Good to know. And uh, funny enough, I actually measure my, um, I actually measure the, um, measure, I actually check out like how old these are by the USB, uh, by the USBs, but in any case, all right, one thing that kind of disappointed me was I was hoping that instead of being flexible, that this would be rigid. Like, uh, I actually have a pair of these earphones where it just, it, it's, yeah, I don't know why. I mean, this could be lost too, essentially. It just slide off your neck. But let me just, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's great. Um, if you guys have this, like, drop a comment in the comment section. It's magnetic. It hangs around your neck. And I could see why. I know. When I read magnetic, I was like, why? What is it talking about when it says it's magnetic? But it does, you can actually hang it off your neck. And it just ties together like that. So I'm like a necklace. In any case, let me do this with you guys. All right. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to put it in my ear. And we're going to see how, uh, how these sound. But if you guys have this, drop a comment. Uh, I'm going to compare these to uh, the Samsungs that I had from like uh, 2008. <clears throat> By the way, those were the best earphones I had in my whole entire life, those Samsungs from 08. From 08. And I've been noticing that a lot of stuff these days don't measure up to the stuff that exists uh, uh, in the... Uh, in previous years, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying about this. I'm being absolutely 100% honest about this. But let me see, see if this actually charges up from, if this has already been charged up from get go. All right, so it's charging right now. You guys see the red indicator, but uh, I'm just gonna pair this up. And uh, what does it have right here? So I believe this is the battery. This is the negative. No, this is the negative lowering. And uh, this is the, uh, this is the whatchamacallit, I think. I'm not even going to read the instructions. Normally on stuff like this, I don't really need to read the instructions, but this is for the pairing. Let me just pair this up and see uh, what they sound like. If, they, if, they, if they're anything close to the Samsung, because I've been noticing that a lot of the cheaper, a lot of the cheaper um, earbuds, they don't sound that great. And I've done reviews on them. 
But all right, guys. So I did try these out, and uh, I'm gonna give these a thumbs up. Sound quality, they're pretty decent. I gotta tell you, um, I did do um a separate video than this, like I, you know, about um an hour ago. Didn't really give them a chance, and I had them, uh, I had these uh in my ears reversed, and it didn't fit right. And I actually made that video and uh, had some negative things to say about it but gave it a second chance put it in my ear the right way and they sound awesome they fit well they sound awesome now are these worth $30 or 35 or how much ever however much they're selling on Amazon I think the sound quality is good enough they're actually a lot better than the stuff that you get at M at uh, TJ Maxx and and uh, Marshalls and Burlington Co. Factory. And if you guys have actually bought these, like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether that's your opinion too. It might help somebody else out as far as them trying to figure out whether these are worth buying or not. Now, me personally, would I buy this? Like I said earlier, I actually would prefer if this was if this was stiff. But the way it is, you could probably just scrumple this up. Is that a word? Scrumple this up and just put it in your um, in your pocket. Uh, as opposed to if these were stiff, you couldn't do that. I think that's the thinking behind that. So, um, are these a keeper? Am I gonna keep these? Um, originally, I was kind of a little bit disappointed at these, but to be honest with you, the pairing was pretty simple like once it once you guys see this it's like it's blinking you press this for four seconds it's blinking it pairs up just uh just look on your phone the bluetooth selection nanami nanami and it pairs up pretty easily and the sound quality is not bad um they're decent enough i'm not i'm not going to um to be honest with you, I think they're decent enough. I think they're decent enough to say that it's better than the stuff you would normally get at the off-brands. You and this is not an on-brand either. But I've done a couple of videos on this on the stuff that I've gone from like TJ Maxx and uh, you know what? I think those I'm not I'm not gonna just put all those uh, earbuds and earphones into one single category of TJ Maxx and and off-brand phones because I mean all 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 of them are maybe just a little bit different, but I think these are the sound quality on this is just a lot better than the sound quality on those um, on those earbuds on those earphones and overall I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Originally I did not give these a thumbs up. Originally I did not give these a thumbs up. <sighs> But um, after trying them on and, and listening to them for maybe a good 30 minutes, I, I would say that they're pretty decent enough that I would actually uh, um, say that they're good enough to buy for like 30 bucks or something like that if you guys were looking for a decent pair of um, earphones. But um, what do you guys think, right? Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. to help you guys out as far as making a purchase on these. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Obviously, I can't, I can't know that the battery on this would last as long as it does, or however long it does these days. Um, a lot of electronics will throw away electronics after three years, when the, two or three years after the battery dies out. Uh, I'm just gonna say these are probably decent enough, I guess, and. Uh, if it holds a charge, a good charge for like a whole entire year. I'm just rambling on right now. All right, those are just hypotheticals. But in any way, in any case, um, just drop a comment. Please subscribe. All that good stuff. Appreciate your time. All right, guys, take care. Oh, by the way, I don't know if the NAMI is uh, a a well-known brand in some other country. I, I don't know that for sure. I know it's not a well-known international brand because I've actually never heard of of this but they do have their x1s and um well, they do have x1 model i'm just assuming that they have other models but anyway drop a comment please subscribe all that good stuff all right guys take care